Welcome back, everyone, to Darkest Dungeon. Are you restless? Are you? Because lately you've just been all kinds of problematic noyers. More like annoyers. <laughs> Got her. All right. So we're pretty damn close to getting level 5 upgrades for both the guild and the blacksmith here. Only four portraits away from the guild. And then, uh, you know, like seven or so deeds from getting one of these two things. Of course, we need a lot more deeds to get both of them. So, I say we probably prioritize the deeds over much else. And we've got an easy level difficulty mission here. Which is not really ideal, so maybe we go for the... Oh, what do we have here? Another fasting seal! Well, I think our decision has been made for us then. 100% of room battles, hell yes, we can deal with that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we're going to try to get some of these guys that are closer to level 4... Uh, up the up in that territory. Actually, I think I'm probably gonna bring uh, our jester out again. I haven't given him much love lately, so let's try to do that. We'll bring the jester. How about jester, vestal, highwayman, leper? Or no, maybe one of these two guys. They're pretty damn close. How about jester, grave robber, leper, vestal? That's probably pretty good, right? Yeah, I like that. We can do that. We can do that. We can do that. No, we should bring Crusader if we're going to bring the Grave Robber. Yeah, that's probably better. Okay, so, before we do that, let's go to the Sanitarium, make sure we're going to commit some of these guys that we're not bringing along, which is probably going to be Malvolid, who still just has so many freaking negative quirks, it's ridiculous. Uh, Witness is really not bad. Actually, she's got she's gotten down to the things that don't really matter too much, so I guess that's good. Uh, health below 50, minus 10% damage. Actually, I kind of want to address that one, too. Warren's thing is okay. Dark Temptation. You know what? I'm going to get rid of Dark Temptation. I don't like these things that trigger the items immediately, so let's try to get rid of as many of those as I possibly can. And then Torn about his Stress Eater as well, although Sickly is probably worse for her, so let's get that taken care of too. I think we can spend the money on the Sanitarium for the things that aren't necessarily critical. I think we're in a good enough position to be able to do that. And you know what? Actually, we might as well upgrade the Nomad Wagon here as well, considering the amount of crests we have. Idle, amulet, or lucky charm. The simplest object can be a talisman against evil. How in the world does he not rhyme with that iambic pentameter, man? God damn it. Alright, whatever. We're good. So, who we're bringing out? Let's go, uh, we're definitely gonna bring the Jester, so we'll throw him in the third, and then we're gonna bring our Vestal for the healer. So it's gonna be Leper, I think, in the front, and then Shadow Dash Noyers in the second position, right? Which works out okay, because we can use the Jester's Dirk Stab to get her back into the back line, and then we can use her Lunge to move that around a little bit more. So that's a lot of mobility in this build, which is pretty damn good. Unfortunately, though, the leper does need to be in the front line. So actually, instead of him, let's bring the Crusader, because his Holy Lance makes for a much better composition there. I like the mobility with this party, actually. It's pretty damn good, so I think this will work out pretty damn well. Let's go for it. Revision accordingly. Well, uh, should we check the guild first? We have 11,000 gold still. We could use the portraits here to upgrade the training regimen. I say we go with that, and then we go for the guild to try to upgrade these guys. Paramount if one is to master the brutal arithmetic of combat. Yeah, I like that a lot. We're gonna upgrade all these things to a uh, significant order. For Roy, I think he's already gone all he can. Bouchard actually needs to level up his weapons and armor, too, so we're gonna have to address that. Level up the Dirk Stab for his mobility, get the Battle Ballad and the Stress Tune Heal up to full strength, and then his Slice Off is his primary damage dealer, so there we go. Then we'll bring Pashalt into the Blacksmith, spend the remainder of our cash, and get them into a fighting form. Alright, I like that a little bit better. Now let's go for it. Get the Crusader. Uh, I don't really like having him in the front, actually, so you know what? This isn't really nearly as good as I thought it was going to be anymore. Maybe we go Hellion. Because we already have enough mobility with the Grave Robber and the Jester, so we could go Hellion, and then she could be able to use a lot of her skill set that way. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. That'll be good. Yeah, we'll rock that. And then Neuer's in the second slot. Jester in the third. This is good. This'll work. Alright, I'm happy with that. Let's go for it. Revision up. Standard fare. Uh, I might even bring a little less, actually. Oh, the shovels, yeah. I might have spent a bit too much money, actually. Shit. Did I overspend? before we came out here. I might have done so. Indeed. Oh well. <laughs> See how, how this fares, I guess. Not like we can sell anything. See, that's a... 
That's an important thing to note, man. You gotta make sure those purchasing decisions you're making are the ones you want to stand by for the remainder of your expedition here. They breed quickly down there in the dark. Oh, uh, well. we can slay them even faster. Now, this is definitely not the kind of outlook I'm looking for as far as that lowly amount of provisions, but that's an extra key, so I suppose I can be happy with that. Maybe even find some holy water in here, right? Right? 250 gold, okay. It's decent. At least we're not going to have to worry about dumping stuff out anytime soon. This might even be a better way to handle things. Okay, first room battle, and it's a freaking doozy. Let's try to go for the stun on the bloodletter early on. I like that extra dodge chance as well. I really like having that available, so let's see here. Uh, slice off is good on the cutthroat. He's got a pretty low bleed resist as well, so maybe we should start working on him. Although he does deal a lot more damage, actually, so let's target him instead. And the if it bleeds, of course, could stack up if it could manage to hit, you know, like a good attack would. But oh well. Now we'll just die. So I guess that's effective too. Ooh, the blanket fire though. Alright, yeah, that is a pretty powerful move. She's got a party heal that can pretty much negate that though. Nice dodge, and then the bleed will kill him off. Very As nice. The fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Okay, now the lunge is honestly not the worst idea in the world here, and that does a lot of damage to the fusilier, so let's go for that. Maximum, but unfortunately does not get the kill. I could go for a slice off and finish him off. I like that option. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. And now we have the opportunities to get the Shadow Dash on the Bloodletter again, and that should be after his stun resist takes effect. So, I think we're in a pretty good position here, uh, so long as he doesn't do something awful to us, which this could be. Oh my god, three bleeds. Okay, yeah, that sucks. That's unfortunate. Well, some of their dodge buff was still sticking around, but apparently it was not for that move. I'm going to give him a buff. I'm going to hope that the If It Bleeds lands sufficiently and that stacks the bleed up enough to potentially get the kill. Let's see how much damage we're doing here. 13. Not enough. We do have the stun still. We get the group heals. Take care of this bleed. Yeah, we're going to be fine here. I think we're going to be just fine and dandy. Let's do a throne dagger. There we go. A victory. Perhaps the turning point. Oh my god, look at the spoils of war right there. Okay, and we get the early scout, which looks like it's going to be pretty sufficient, too. Oh, not quite. All right. We do still have to go this way, I think, unless we get some really good scouting and some really good RNG as well with the layouts of the rooms. We're probably going to have to go pretty damn far here. Another holy water. That's exactly what I was looking for earlier, too. All right. I am... I am looking forward to this party. I am looking forward to seeing what they can do. I think I'm maybe not utilizing them to their full effectiveness. I'm wondering... Oh, we don't have any fasting. Oh my god, what the hell? I didn't put a trinket on her? Oh, shit. I could have had a fasting seal. That was dumb. Alright, I've been ruining this one far too long. Now let's see what we actually have to do for the occult scrawlings here. This is... Not on the list. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Hold on a second. This is not on the curios list. Oh, no. Really? So what do we do with it? I guess we just interact, right? We try it. Looks like it's a good thing. Hard noggin. Okay then, so maybe you just don't want to do anything with that one. But, I mean, normally they put it on the curios list because it's like, well, you don't have to do anything to make this work, so just don't waste your resources. Which would be good to know. I guess we found out an effective way to deal with it, haven't we? Okay, so Shadow Fate is a good start on the, uh... Well, actually, we might even be able to kill this guy. Decent chance. Yeah, I'll go for it. Okay! Droid. <laughs> Hell yes! Keeps this guy in the third position as well. Allows us to use that boost, although we don't necessarily need to do that. Good dodges all around as well. Just a little bit of stress. Not too bad. We got the full party stress heal available as well if we need that. Oh my goodness. Get the bleed. Oh, baby! Good start here. Now, it would be awesome if we could get a stun off with Savigny, but unfortunately he has already done his move. And, you know, he did it to her instead, so that works out just fine for him, I guess. Wicked hack! Disadvantage. Give them no quarter. Oh, shit! I totally didn't mean to target him. Oh, damn it, that was a misclick. I got so excited, I was just moving around so damn fast. There we go, whatever! <laughs> Holy cow, dude! The crit bonuses! Trifling victory. But a victory, nonetheless. Absolutely ridiculous with this crew. We should get some extra... Uh, oh, actually, this is going to be a buff, I think. Let's see. Is ever potent. Yeah, nice. Oh, my God. 30%? Is that permanent? I hope so. That is amazing. 30% extra damage. That is incredible. Okay, no room battle here. That's unfortunate. It's going to take a long while to get through this dungeon, sadly, with the layout that we've been presented with, but... 
don't know, we might get some lucky scouts or something. Wonders can be found in the most tenebrous corners of this place. Okay. No scouting. We gotta search through every room. We're gonna try this again, I guess. In fact, let's try it with somebody else. Why not? Dull and uninteresting. All right, then. I'm glad I took a chance on... Oh, my God. Do we have a torch? We don't. Oh, shit. All right. We gotta let that go, then. We might get a torch from the next hallway, though, in which case I think I'd probably want to double back and try to remove a negative quirk. That would be entirely worth it. We do get a scout here, and there is a room battle this way. I kind of want to double back, but I think I've already committed to this, so whatever. We're good. Oh, it's a ghoul, of course. Oh, shucks. Please don't crit. God damn it! Waits for the slightest lap Son of a bitch. All right, we got to move in in the back. We already got to deal with some stress re relief now. My god, you are telling me, buddy. We get a stun here, too. Clarified in a single strike. Luckily, we don't give that maggot his opportunity to move, but we are in some dire straits. That's some good damage, though. I forgot she's got that 30% damage boost. My god. That is amazing. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yes. Oh, if we can kill him before he moves again, please. Please let that happen. The inspiring tune. We are... Actually, it's, it's feeling a lot better now. I'm feeling a lot... More comfortable with this. If we can land this judgment, there we go. Size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. A little bit of healing and stress relief for our vestal. Good dodge as well. All right. Well, we turned the tides on that pretty damn quick too, didn't we? Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Remember, our grave robber has the very, very high chance to disarm traps here. Gotta take advantage of that, and we get another food cart, but we don't have the herbs for it. Oh, son of a bitch! That would have been really nice. That would have been... Oh my god, that's like borderline necessary to get that. Maybe I should take a gamble on it, actually. Ooh, we have this thing here, too. And a surprise attack. All right, we're going to take an opportunity still here to go for the stress relief because these guys are still kind of feeling the effects. Uh, breakthrough? 9 to 16. Ah, uh, no, they're they're too strong for that. Well, I could go for the double stun, too. No, I think I go for the if it bleeds. Yeah. Yeah, we got to do that. Gotta hope for it, man. We gotta hope for some really good results here. Uh, Shadow Fade could work out pretty well. That's a 130 against a 70. Throne Dagger does deal a lot of damage, though. So maybe we go for this and then hope that a Judgment kills the spawn before he gets a chance to act. That might work out pretty damn well. There we go. Okay, that was what we were hoping for. He's got a lot of accuracy, actually. This is really nice. Uh, let's do Shadow Fade now. Buff up that dodge chance. Didn't get the stun, but that's okay. We can do party heals now. Sadly, her shadow fate is a lot less effective with the jester in the back line. That's something I'm realizing now. Cannot be left unanswered. That's not too terrible. Try to stack up this bleed. That would be amazing. Thank you very much. And, uh, you know what? Is that enough? That's not quite enough. Okay, let's just keep going with this. You just keep playing your loot, buddy. Everybody's gonna be just fine. Oh, shit. I don't know why he did that. That was an odd move. Alright, whatever. Take advantage of it. Oh my god, he's landing those really well, too. Okay, we're getting a lot of really good results from these group stress reliefs. Maybe I should move her back to the, uh... You know what? I'm gonna go for a lunch here. Yeah, that sounds like a good option. Oh, it was! The greater the glory. It absolutely was. How beautiful it is. Oh, man, he hurts, though. We gotta be aware of that. He is, uh... Dealing some serious damage. I think some heals are in order from our Vestal. Shut up, Fade Dodge is nice. Got the stun on it, too. Okay, so now I think we can take some opportunities for some individually targeted heals here. That's going to be really nice. Get another stress relief from the inspiring tune. And all of a sudden, we are really far down the stress meters again. Hell yeah. As victories mount, so too will resistance. All right, the bone altar cannot be cleansed. It has a 100% chance of a buff. I have been misusing all these things. Let's take it. Great power. Look at that. 45% damage buff. Holy shit. Our Hellion is a monster. And there's the torch. Ooh. Do I dare double back now? I don't think I can. That removes a positive quirk, or a negative quirk, rather. Is it worth it? I don't think it is. I don't think it is. That's, I mean, we'll hope that we find another pile of scrolls at some point later on here, but I don't think I can double back for it right now. That's far too much of an investment of time, and that's going to mean... I mean, just going back there, we'd probably have to eat some more food as well, so obviously we want to try to avoid that. See, you're right there. Okay, so yeah, now I'm starting to really worry about that. The lack of food combined with the herbs that we didn't bring along for the ride, that's really starting to freak me out, so I'm kind of... 
I'm kind of hoping that we just survive by the skin of our teeth as far as that's concerned. Some good damage on the Fusilier. This is an interesting lineup. Although the breakthrough with that 40... Oh my god, good dodge. The breakthrough with a 45% buff? Is that gone already? It didn't last that long at all. Shit, dude. That's unfortunate. Okay. Well, we still have that one buff at least, so that's nice. That's not good enough, though, so I think I'm just going to try to go for a kill on these guys. Almost got it, but the bleed might land. There we go. Okay, so he's down before he can act. Let's go for the stun on this one, too. What's their stun resist? 45%. We got a little light from that, but, you know, we can deal with it. Okay. That was pretty damn good. I'm happy with it. I'm probably going to start doing some buff songs as well in place of the stress relief, because I don't think we're really in that dire straits now. Healing probably needs to be taken effect, actually. Let's, uh... Let's allow the Vestal some party heal opportunities here, if we can. Breakthrough is probably gonna work out pretty damn well. Yeah, let's do party comfort. I'm gonna go for a breakthrough here. If it gives me the opportunity. Our Hellion is actually kind of hurting. So what's this look like? 9 to 16. Yeah, this is great. Very nice. And he's only got seven health left. I should be able to take that out with a thrown dagger, but Shadow Fade's always good, too. She's still got the party heal available from that position. I am going to go ahead and do one more inspiring tune since he is stunned. I like this. I think we're in great shape again. The Wicked Hack will finish him off. If it lands! God damn it. Okay. We're still fine. There we go. Got him! This expedition at least promises success. Two extra food, man. That's... That's nothing to scoff at. That could be a difference maker. In fact, we might want to consider using our campfire Terrors pretty damn may soon. Indeed stalk these shadows, but yonder, a glint of gold. Okay, the Eldritch Altar is either holy water or a torch, and it does provide a stress relief. So, let's go with the uh, Grave Robber here and do this. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Okay, that is nice. Find some more food in here, please. Oh, a thousand gold, though. I'll take it happily. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and pop that... Oh, I was gonna keep that for the scrolls. Oh, well. That's okay. I think this is an empty room, too. I'm pretty sure we scouted ahead for this one, so that's nice. Only three more rooms. We get a scout as well. Trap in an empty room. Okay, we can make it to here, and then I think we're gonna use our campfire as soon as we get into that room. And that way... Oh, damn. I thought she would be able to get that. Resist to the bleed, at least. The darkness holds dominion. Well, then again, we're not going to be able to Black feast death. since we only have six foods. So maybe we take the next food activation if we get one. And then we go for, like, the half food. Because that way, at least, we don't lose out on anything. I think we have another shovel for this. Such we do indeed. Such are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. I think if we use a torch, we actually get a buff on this. Unfortunately, we don't have that torch anymore. So we can just go with the stress relief instead and clear out that inventory space. That'll do. Okay. Tell me it's another empty room. That would be awesome. Nope. All right. So this might even be the last room battle, so we might just have the torch for the... Or the campfire for the end of the mission, rather. But that doesn't really benefit us too much, considering our stress is not that high. So let's see what we can get done here. I'm going to try to take out a spawn before he gets a chance to act. Hell yes! Oh, I love her crits. A singular strike. They're so good. How about the... Uh, ooh, you know what we could do? Let's... I'm going to keep healing with her because I'm I'm going to assume that maybe we have another room battle in this last one. Breakthrough might be enough. Oh, baby! Wow! Two more damage on the Corpse Eater. I could go for the stab and try to take out the Marcher before he acts. Almost got him! Oh, that stinks. All right. Uh, I guess Flashing Daggers. Highest chance to hit. Right, 105 accuracy base. There we go. Might get the Corpse Eater before he goes. There we go. We got the Judgment, too. Nice! That'll do, baby. That'll do. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. And we got more food there as well, which means we could feast right now if we use the campfire, which is not a terrible idea. Let's go ahead and move these guys back around. I don't necessarily want that. Yeah, that's not very good. We're gonna use our key on the heirloom chest and probably dump off these two. Uh, it's a torch. This is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. I think I'm gonna pop this real fast. I'm gonna take all those things and then. I'll get rid of the keys. I don't need the keys. Yeah, we're fine. Alright, we do have one more room battle, which means I'm gonna use the campfire and I'm gonna try to get some buffs before we go into that final battle. Huddled together. Furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. 
Let's go with Sanctuary just to be sure we're in better position for the future. We don't need to forage for food. We don't need to pilfer here. Uh, let's see. Sharpened Spear is nice. Let's see what he's got going on. He's just got stress reduction. Okay, so he's not going to be the one we use here. Sharpened Spear. Battle Trance is okay. We don't have a lot of other options. Bless is nice. Let's go with Bless and give that to our Hellion as well. Give her that accuracy buff. And then we've only got, what, like three left? Okay, so I guess we just go with Battle Trance and we're good to go. So our accuracy is insanely good now, and I think we're going to be just fine. Yeah, I think we're good, man. This party worked out pretty damn well. I am pleased with their effectiveness. The amount of mobility we have. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. And purpose is made clear. I think the mobility might have even been the most beneficial element of this party's composition. So that's maybe something I ought to consider a little bit more for the future. Let's do maybe a Shadow Fade to try to stun the Reaver. Or do some damage to the Ghoul. Yeah, that looks better. Her accuracy base is really damn good as well, man. This is awesome. Is she still at the debuff from the Breakthrough? I think she does. Damn, that stinks. Alright, we're going to try this. Oh, I love it. I love it. A little bit more stress reduction as well. He can still... Wreck our shit, though. One critical howl, and we are in dangerous territories yet again. Fortunately, that's still pretty damn effective, too. The Skull Toss does do some damage. Might kill him with this. Stack the bleed a little bit, and then all we probably need is a thrown dagger, and he'll be gone. Yes! Yes, indeed. Okay. Might get a stun again, although it is much higher now, the resist, so I still think it's worth a shot. Okay, that's fine. Lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. 17 health left. He does get his attack off. Butcher cut, not that bad. Only 4 damage. It is a bleed, but we can manage that off just fine. Tamper that off, rather. Taper that off. Is that what I'm looking for? Those are the words I'm trying to say. Shadow Fade! Hit him with a group heal. And then a wicked hack. To finish the job. Good day to you, sir. Oh, please, man. I like what we got. We, what we got going on her. And we know for a fact that we've got one last room battle coming up here, so... Oh my god, two hallway battles and we get surprised! Okay, well... That's unfortunate. Now... Pretty sure what we're gonna have to end up doing... Thank you for not critically striking. We're gonna, probably gonna have to, uh... Let's let... The Vestal move backward here. Because the group heal doesn't do us a lot of good. She can do the lunge. Right? No, she can't. Oh, she has to be in the back too. That's right. Okay, so how about... Uh, damn. That is... Okay, that is positional shifting that I am not really prepared to deal with. But I can do this. I love the Jester's mobility in that respect. Now I can get that damage going. Okay, I'm really glad she was at least able to do that. Uh, Shadow Fate's probably a good option here. The Vestal, unfortunately, is in the front row, but not a lot we can do about that, sadly. Unless we did this again, but that would mean we'd have to move the Hellion, so that's probably a bad idea. Let's Battle Ballad instead. Hopefully, maybe get some critical strikes here. Oh, boy. That's gonna hurt. That is gonna hurt. Alright, she does have to... This is just not good. What she's got going on. I think I'm gonna have to do... Well, hopefully the Hellion's going to be able to move forward at some point, although that's probably not going to happen, actually. So, I guess we just got to make this work. If that stacks up enough, that's not going to do it. How about Dirk Stab to finish this guy off, and then maybe we can figure out what the Vestal's going to do. The Vestal can move back, hopefully, before the Hellion moves. Okay, there we go. That does the job. This is more than effective. Now we can do Shadow Fate again to get the Hellion in the second spot. There we go. That is what I like to see. All right, let's finish this guy off. He'll actually kill himself, so let's just do this instead. Wicked hack on the swine reaver. There we go. Alright. He's gone. We figured it out, man. Solved the freaking puzzle. And now we are done. Just one piece at a time. Hacks laden with loot are often low on supplies. I'm gonna pop this torch here and, uh, well, you know what? The holy water is more likely to be useful than the shovel. So let's just dump that off and then we'll be good to go. Uh, we gotta move our jester back. We're heli into the front. Okay. We're good. We're good. Depending on the fight here, but I think we'll be good. Oh, that's kind of scary, but we did surprise him. Start with a breakthrough, maybe? Actually, let's do flashing daggers. 
I think AoE for a lot of these, uh... A lot of these early moves here. Although we could go for a stun on the Reaver as well. Let's do that instead. In damn it. Radiance, may we find victory. All right, that was pretty damn good. Her flashing daggers are actually more than likely going to kill these two now. Although, well, let's do Battle Ballad. Yeah, I like giving that speed buff to us. And then we might even be able to act before them now. He does get the vomit off. That's a little bit of extra stress on the Jester. And stomach cramps. Ooh, that's no good. But we do get flashing daggers beforehand. Hell yes. That is good. Uh, another battle ballot is nice. Potential crit for the Hellion against the... Uh, oh my god, we got plus 18% crit. That is insane. I don't need to heal so much, so let's go for another stun on the Marcher, perhaps. Hell yes! Good stuff. I say we go Wicked Hack against this guy and hope for that crit. Oh, not quite. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. We can live with it. Butcher's Cut. We don't have to worry about the health again. This is the last fight, so there's no cause for alarm there. Just gonna keep going with these moves, maybe even kill him. There we go. Alright, I think we got it, man. I think we are in business. We got that stun off. We are guaranteed success. Love it. Love it! Hell yes. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. And that is it. Good stuff. We got through basically that entire dungeon. Their squeals fade. Their confidence is shaken. My goodness. About 18 grand of Fasting Seal, which is always nice, and a whole bunch of heirlooms from that one, too. So very, very beneficial. A lot of deeds, some portraits are always good. I think we got a little bit more than that as far as the deeds are concerned. Or maybe not. Oh, we got extra portraits, too. Okay, cool. Let's see it. Let's see it. Ooh, level 5 Savigny. Ruins Adventure Shocker is bad. We have stomach cramps on, on our jester. Stomach cramps, rather, on our jester, too, that we have to address. I can still see their angry faces as they stormed the manor. But I was dead before they found me. Oh, God damn it! Carded has left. Way. On a quest of personal hardship and pain. Get rid of a couple of these. Alright, well. We got some issues to address next time. Looking forward to that. Appreciate your support. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.